Hi everyone, thank you for joining me. This is A Touch of Tarot and this is going to be a reading for the Divine Masculine and Feminine. So the Scorpio full moon, this is all about giving people an eye-opening awakening for those who have been refusing to deal with a conflict or an issue that's needed their attention. I'm going to be looking into what has come to light for the masculine during this time. One message I already got is that they are realizing that they have an extreme insecurity, um, probably that they have to put to rest with these two cards coming out. First cards, Ten of Swords and the Four of Swords. Like This is huge overthinking energy, huge I'm not good enough energy. I don't deserve that. I, I deserve what I got. I deserve the mess I've gotten myself into. I'm going to accept these, you know, beads and lay here. I don't know where that's coming from. But yeah, so let's see what else is happening here in this connection. So the first message I'm getting, like your person constantly overthinks and has this lackful mentality. Um, and on top of it, they probably don't face it. They don't want to face it. It's so much easier to just walk away, especially when it has to do with love and happiness. And they don't believe that they're, they deserve it. It's so much easier for them to just be like, I'm going to leave them before they leave me. I'm going to walk away because I'm worthless. I'm not good enough. You know, the message I actually got, and I don't think I put it in the title, was basically like your person is so insecure no matter how confident they come across to others, right? So this person may kind of keep a distance when it comes to love, maybe just um, dating people that are single, dating people that are independent like them, and not kind of getting in there too much, maybe just having partnerships and random rendezvous, rendezvous. Um, but I'm just getting this energy, like even if this person does like someone, they keep them at a distance, okay? Um, yeah, so that's what this person does. And I saw the Empress there. And it's because this person has some sort of issues, okay? And they're fighting them. So I think that your person has really dealt with some bad karma, probably because they haven't faced issues, right? So they keep on bringing karma to themselves. And I'm pretty sure they're projecting that, you know, that's what happens. If that's what they're used to, let's see what this card is. Yeah. If that's what they're used to is all this conflict, then that's what they always think of. That's what they always remember. It's like every time they start a new, a fresh start, they get hurt and they just keep that fear looping around in their mind. So even though this person has possibly your connection and possibly others that they've walked away from and they regret doing that, like this person may have walked away from a few, a few great connections in whatever capacity um, and they regret it, but still this person just rather not make a move and just protect themselves from that heartache. Wow. You know, what else this person hasn't been doing is really looking at how they've created all of this drama and there's something this person does, which has to do with pushing others away, probably focusing more on work or something like that. But that's part of the reason they keep on creating the same issue. They keep on pushing people away and they keep on getting the same um, uh, resentment, I guess that's the word that's coming up. Um, and then causing arguments. And then they're like, see, look at this always happens or see, look at, I can't trust anyone. They always just lash out on me. Uh, but yeah, this person refuses to see that they may be part of the cause of that. Okay. I actually do feel that there are multiple women that this person has done uh, this to. And I'm saying women because there's women here. Like it could be just multiple, very strong people have probably broken down because of this, because this person leaves them high and dry is what I'm getting. Um, it's not just you. Okay. And hmm. So during the Scorpio full moon, is like this realization a good thing or what? Because I do feel like there's going to be some eye opening and there is. Okay, we have the nine to the six of wands, even the same suit. And when I see a nine and a six, I get this like flip floppy version where someone is going to be doing a change. They are going to be having a turnaround. Um, I kind of feel like it's okay for show is the word that's coming up. So that's not too healthy. Um, I do feel that this person's going to have a realization, okay? But they're not going to really talk about it. Uh -huh. Okay, like, let me see. What is this? Like, sure, this person may have a realization that they do have love for someone. They do want to express love to someone. But it looks like they still keep a bit of a mask on. They still, um, well, we'll see. Ooh, see devil in the nine of... 
swords. They still have their fears, which like those are stronger than anything right now. Those are stronger than anything right now. And that needs healing. So it's like this person may come across and reach out or may come across as having some confidence or gaining some confidence. Um, but the truth is, you know, when they're alone or, or at nighttime, they're still in that nine of swords energy. Like, oh, no, I can't do this. Oh, no, what have I done? It's almost like as soon as they're nice to you or to whoever, they regret it because they're worried. What have I created? What is going to happen here? So this person really has a heavy um, hold on on what they know. And it's from, not just from like, it's like from everyone around them as well. And not just everyone around them, but there's people, you know, when you're around people that have a really negative output on life, it seeps into you. And especially if it's daily, like if it's people at work, you know, we're hearing some weird noises. So that's weird. Anyhow. How is this Scorpio full moon that literally passed less than 24 hours ago going to help the situation? Okay, so let's see what's coming up here. There's definitely a realization this person's going to have, and it has to do with the fact that their thoughts are keeping them trapped. And it's almost like, do I want to stay here in this safe spot or do I just want to take a chance and just, just kind of feel it out there? Um, but this person carries around this heaviness. It's a, it's a little unfortunate because it's like whenever this person makes progress, they're weighed down by the fears of the past, but it's not necessarily unfortunate. It's actually more natural than anything because that is the way that you clear your energy. You got to kind of fight through or push through, I should say the past memories. And I just saw the nine of cups there, you know, and it does lead to happiness. So how is it? I think this person is going to be coming to some realizations here and slowly, but surely is what I get. First, this person's too stubborn to even try. And then they're like, okay, let me just see what's out there. I think that, you know, maybe I can take a couple of steps out of my safe zone. And then it's like, they have a new perspective. Okay. Um, maybe no more confusion, but so let's get this new perspective. This person is realizing. So this person is actually realizing that they have the problem. That's what they're coming to learn during this Scorpio full moon that just passed. They're learning that only they hold themselves back, that they have this problem, that their fears are what's holding them back, um, which is a great, a great thing. It's a great step, right? And it's actually the first step in general to really healing. Um, you first have to take responsibility and stop blaming everyone else for the issues, you know? So this person's realizing like, no, I have the problem. I'm the one um, that's lacking the strength to face my own problems. Now, ah, okay, this is because this person has some sort of, uh, one of the problems, at least that this person, I think they're coming to the realization as to why is because they're kind of brainwashed to thinking like, Everyone's supposed to be married or everyone's supposed to work a nine to five or like, you know, and even if they're not brainwashed in that way, like everyone's supposed to be rich and everyone is supposed to t be taken care of. Like I have to take care of everyone type of thing. Um, this person is slowly but surely coming out of this, but it really is like a process. Okay. Like this person is first coming to the realization, okay, my surroundings haven't really helped me. They've hindered me and they've kept me trapped in fear. I do want to move away from this little back and forth energy. I do want to get ready and get in my vehicle, but you know, I'm still juggling that energy too. I'm still like just trying to get away from this. It's still fears that I have to process. I still have to come to an understanding of why I'm scared of certain things or what it may be. And then this new beginning comes and it almost looks like it's just a process is what I'm saying. Okay. I do see the six of cups eventually, but I'm not even going to go into that because that's so far. <laughs> so, you know, anyhow, the way these cards came out, let me just take a look at this. Eventually this does lead to happiness, but there's a period of pause. Look at, there's a period of a transition. There's a period of seeming like things are over. Okay. Um, 
And I think that that's more for you. I think this person may just be focused on transitioning and getting out of their old energy. And you may look at it like, I don't know what's going on. I don't know that love's coming in. I don't know what's happening here. Um, but it is. It's all happening behind the scenes at this point because that's what happens eventually. You put out your manifestation and then it's like, okay, well, I'm going to bake up your... I'm going to bake it up for you. So there may be this ending here because this card was coming in reverse and I saved it um, because it could also just mean um, that this person is finally, what I'm hearing is like releasing, like a wish has been fulfilled. So something has been fulfilled, something has run its course and it's time to release that is what I get here um, and move on to the next wish or the next desire. And that's happening now. And you know, interestingly enough, I want to say like the Scorpio energy is 10 because that's October, right? And isn't that when Scorpio energy starts? Because um, like, it's happening, you know, there's something here happening, and it may happen by um, the next full moon in Scorpio. Okay, this is the Scorpio full moon. The next full moon in Scorpio may actually be the Gemini moon. I'm not sure I'm not really the best with those. Um, it could be the Taurus or the Gemini moon. Okay, that's interesting. Anyhow, let's get a couple of final messages here for this. Well, we got two. <laughs> and look at... <laughs> you may not see this coming. I'm hearing slow and steady. It's happening. Slow and steady. Okay, there's preparation. There's other things involved. Slow and steady, this is happening, okay? And let's get a couple more cards here. Um, let's use my deck, actually, and pull a card or two. I feel horrible for what I did. Oh, gosh. Okay. I have money problems. Okay, so that is part of the issues. Um, and yeah, this person feels horrible for what they did because they have this issue with carrying guilt. Like, relax, just move forward, you know. I'm in another relationship. I do not know how to end that situation without feeling guilty. So that could be another serious problem, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's and the funny thing is the other relationship is not really showing up, but their behaviors for going back and forth. I believe we're showing up, right? Am I right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. I just thought I might have been remembering something else. Um, but I see like this is not over, but let's see what these messages are. I, but let me just finish that. Sorry. Um, but maybe this person did start a relationship somewhere else, right? Like one was based on love, one was based on money, and they haven't closed it out, you know. And we didn't get the King of Cups or Pentacles, though I did see the King of Cups, but he couldn't come out because he couldn't go towards his love. I want this to happen fast. However, divine order is at play. And we definitely got that message here. Meeting you changed my life. The love I feel for you is like no other I have ever had. Beautiful. And let's get a couple messages from this deck. Reflection. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust. And have faith all will work out for the best. And balance. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. And I think right now you're dealing with someone going through challenges. So therefore you're going through them with the person. Okay. Just remember to commit to the love of your life. To commit to everything you want with this person. And to not be swayed. Do your best to stay strong to not uh, resent this person for the amount of time it's taking them to go through their process, through their healing, and just be understanding, right? We all have our own path. So we have the three of wings, the three of swords energy, okay? Now listen, this is a message I get for you as a final message. Your person has ended something, okay? Um, fully, I'm seeing it's ended, okay? And, ooh, I'm seeing so many, oh my gosh, I'm seeing so many aces here. And this, I believe, is actually the Queen of Swords. So I do, yes, it is. So I do really feel, and I'm not, I'm not saying that's bad, but it's just, as a reader, it's telling me to go with this message. Your person has ended a situation here. Um, and before this person can move forward, 
and go towards their true love, their true passion, where they truly want to be, they kind of have to close this out, close this energy out, um, fully let it go. And that is very understandable. But this person is very aware that once they do that, I don't know if they're very aware, but they are going to move forward with trust. And they need your support here, your support and your love. And you can do that energetically. I'm getting it more of an energetic energy here. Chariot could be like, just send that energy to them and let them know, you know, just heal, babe. You know, or just like, you can do this. You're loved. It's okay to change. Okay, so I hope that this helped. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you for all my Patreon members. Uh, it's a great time to join around the first of the month, like after the first of the month. Don't bother joining for the rest of the month now. Um, but yeah, all the extendeds I have are on there. And my lowest platform is $4.44. So it's extremely affordable, right? Okay, guys, thank you so much. I wish the best for you. I hope you're doing well and stay healthy. Bye for now.